Mike here, Rust Brothers, just gonna pop in and see what our buddy uh, James is up to at Dubs Customs since I'm in town. Probably a whole lot of stuff going on in here. Oh, we got a Bronco. Oh, we got a Nova. Jeez, I think I recognize this. Oh, don't recognize this. What's going on, James? Another day in the green. What are you doing here? Modifications. Wow. People don't come to us for the easy jobs. No, that's right. They come to us when things are screwed right up and say, <laughs> fix it. Fix it. Okay, well, okay, well, should I be filming this or not? <laughs> yeah, you can film whatever you want. Really. Okay, well, so a little bit of steering issue or what's going on? Uh, with this one here, it failed the inspection because there's stock bolts in here. And not oh, the oh, oh, not the T-bolts. So, that's right. So you can shim. That's right. Yeah. And up at Dusty's shop, they couldn't get enough shim in there. They ran out of bolt. So now we're having to re-engineer what this, like, this steering rack should be engineered. Well, it really. should be. It yeah. looks like, it, like, I mean, it looks like a Heights or something. What is it? I don't know the name brand, but it's I mean, a, it's rack and pinion. Based, yeah. based off a Mustang 2 front end, yeah. right? Like, but I mean, well, look at those. Looking. I mean, aren't those, the, are, are those the shock waves? Or something like, is These that what here? You, yeah, what are those? Those look, I don't know. Whatever they are, they look expensive. That's nice looking right. front end. Somebody just had a full paw there. I don't know. Yeah. Either way, we're going to fix it. And that's just what we do here. So. so what is this? This is an old Plymouth, isn't it? Or what is that? I don't know. What it is, is awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. pretty wild looking car. Whatever. I mean, so everything else passed it. So I just need to get this suspension dialed in. That's right. Pretty cool. That's right. So what's with this thing? What's it's another Tell me a lie. It looks another project. another project. I like the horns. <laughs> What's that say? Something. It's a Daytona Midgey. Oh. <laughs> oh, plastic yeah. car. So obviously this is just a fiberglass kit on over, a a or over a Volkswagen. Volkswagen, oh yeah. Still, it looks like an older older like, kit. I mean, like, I'm, I'm going by the upholstery. It looks in the, the... How's that patina look? So this here, Mike, is... You know, one thing that you told me that I'll never forget is buy for four, sell for six. Yes. Right? So, so you bought this one for two and you're going to sell for eight. Well, I paid a little <laughs> bit more than that for it, but, but you're gonna it get... hadn't run in four or five years. Yeah. So I spent a day cleaning it up. Yeah. A little bit of engine work, got it fired up, drove it around the parking lot, back up for sale, and hopefully it'll be gone soon. So. Well, somebody's going to love putting this thing around. I mean, what the hell? Volkswagen reliability right. and way cooler than a Volkswagen. Well, and depending. It's, it's summertime. Yes. So it's a seller's market for a yep. convertible. Yep. Right? Top goes down, price goes up. Right on, beauty. Yeah. It's a cool little car, it's yeah. pretty solid. I was yeah. coming around last night and I, I quite enjoyed it, really. Well, maybe if the price is right, keep it. What's happening with the Bronco? Is that one of those new bodies? No, well, this is well, pretty much. <laughs> I was gonna say, it looks like a new body. Broncos rust out so bad that yeah. everything is new. Yes. So see, the door is still a 1970 door. Wow, you have one original part. Yeah. <laughs> but what it does have is an original 1970 paperwork that's gonna be in the glove box. Yes, there you go. You, know? yep. you can buy pretty much every part for the Bronco, but they wanted, you know, kind of something more original. Yep. So they were looking for 1970 and that's- Well, I mean, that's, uh, well, basically that's almost like building a Dodge these days. Wait till I see, where do you see the RT when it comes back? These things are getting pretty hot and pretty yeah. expensive. Oh, they have been uh, have been for years, but um, and I recognize that Nova, isn't that Dusty's? That's Dusty's. Yeah. I sold them that. It didn't look like that when I sold it to them. You should have seen it when it first came here two, <laughs> yeah. what, two years ago. Yeah, there's just a big hole in the floor. Yes. So we hand constructed most of the back of the frame, the suspension. It's actually pretty surreal to see it how it is today yep. compared to when I first seen it a couple of years ago. Well, I remember when I sold it to him, there wasn't much there. No, you must have sold it to him cheap. Yes, I did. I sell everything to but, Dusty Cheap. But then, then when his friends come, I, I get them. That's I get, right. <laughs> but you know, May Days is coming up, right? Yes, that's so, right. And Dusty likes to go fast. Yes. So, I don't know if you remember that he put an 8.1 liter. Yeah, yeah, some big Chevy, big like a truck motor in that's it. That's right. I like to call it a dump truck motor. Yeah, a dump truck. 
There is next to no aftermarket speed parts for this. So he's asked me to build them this over here. Ah, this, this <laughs> being this. Oh, very good. And that me, looks like an intake. <laughs> it is an intake. And let me tell you, Mike, this is something that, you know, you don't make money on building a part like this because it takes way too much time and you just can't charge, you know, your proper rate for it. So I'm doing Dusty a big favor. I'm building this. It's going to be, you know, it's kind of dubs speed and performance. Well, how's, you know? how's it going to flow? You don't know yet. Well, I don't know that. I just know it's going to flow better than the stock one. Yes. You know, but... I'm really looking forward to going to Maydays and seeing how it performs. Yep. Because you know, like, at the end of the day, who else is building intakes like that? No one. This guy. Cool. Right here. And it's more for, you know, I build stuff all the time. You know, the challenges start to get less and less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no. when I heard that he wanted to build something like this, I was up for the challenge. We're just about getting done. I'm kind of just trying to stay away from having to machine these faces. Again, I've already done it once. Yep. They were flat. I'm yeah, but once you start putting all that heat and stuff into it, you're... That's then you're, why I've yeah. got this here. Like, yep. the gasket does have O-rings in it. It's just, I don't know. I'm probably going to have to put it back in the mowing machine and face it one more time. time. But Well, you want it to seal. Yeah, yeah. Especially when he's, when you got all that, uh, those big hair dryers blowing air in there. Yeah, but what we are going to be able to do is, you know, Dusty's got the dyno, so we're going to be able to put this on the dyno and see, because if I'm a couple of degrees off here, yeah. it's gonna either blow boost out here. If this was naturally aspirated, yeah. it wouldn't be a problem. Because it sucks, it sucks, yes. Boost, now you're if blowing. These angles aren't perfect, yeah. now we're gonna be blowing you know, boost out here or here, depending, yeah. right? So he's gonna need time to test it, but it's gonna be pretty cool if you have you know, a custom intake yeah. on a race car. And you get to run some dyno tests on it. That's right, and I'm pretty sure he's already dynoed the car, so we should be able to see if it does make any power. So you've got a baseline to go off of. That's right. That's cool. Right. So, okay. pretty cool, but yeah. definitely, I've got way too much time into this thing. It's probably three weeks just to make yeah. this, yeah. right? But, whatever. Yeah. One thing about Dusty, pays his bills. That's right. Okay, right. so what I'm here for, Someone was telling me they saw a video of you threatening to butcher my 41 Ford three window coupe no. that you stole off me no. at the auction. No. Is this true, James? No, I made a video just suggesting. Oh, suggesting, okay, okay, yeah. suggesting. And I got feedback both ways, you know? Some people are okay with cutting something up and some people aren't. But at the end of the day, I told myself when I first started this whole thing that I wouldn't cut up a vehicle that could be put back on the road. That car has survived as an original for... 83, 83 years. years. 80. It's older than me. You've done the math. Then. Yes, I've done the math. Yeah. 83 years. Yeah. So, you know, believe it or not, I actually am selling it. I loaded it up and I was going to take it to a guy. Well, you were supposed to talk to me first. But you're supposed to not be buying anymore. Moot point. So is the price less than last time? I think the price is fair. I, we can take a look at it, Mike. Like Let's go I, take a look. I kind of Let's go know, take a look. Because if you haven't, if nobody's committed, I am here and I do happen to have some cash. <laughs> cash talks. Cash, cash money screams. We'll see. I really, I don't want to get rid of it. What happened to the weather? Well, didn't you tell me you're getting the Widowmaker back? I am. So that's part of my drive to sell a few things. Here's Ooh. the car, still looking just as pristine as where's the, uh, seen it. Where's the headlight? Uh, it's inside. Oh, okay, it's just checking. It was, it was never installed. No. So no. it's exactly the way that I bought it. Yes. I never touched it. The only thing that I have done is I did put some mystery oil down each cylinder. I never did try cranking I it. I still got to find these two pieces of chrome. They're not in there? No, they never were. Oh, yeah, I never that's, looked. That's the only thing that is. So obviously you've done nothing if you haven't looked. No. no. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Look at that steering wheel, eh, guys? Classic. I mean, that's why they didn't have power steering back then, because the steering wheels were 24 inches across. It does hurt to let this one go. Yeah, but look at all the work it needs. Look, the floors are going. Yeah, but they're flat, Mike. I know, I know, I know. Like, it didn't take very long just to build a little patch I forget, in there. what exactly did you steal this off me for at the auction? Hey, 
<laughs> I was bidding just like everybody. Else. I know, I know. It actually, I was bidding against Big Donnie. He actually really? jacked the Well, you know up. what I paid Donnie for this the first time? Ten grand. Ten grand. Well, I traded him that '59 Ford tow truck I got well, off what you're him. Saying is you paid ten grand for this one? Well, no, I traded. It was a ten grand oh, trade. Oh. It wasn't cash. Oh. But I figure you gotta let some good projects go. So what? So what's what it going want. for? What did you tell the other guy? Well, to be honest with you, I didn't tell the other guy. I figured I was just going to show up there because uh, sometimes it's easier to yes. show up. Well, you know, they say a car is worth a thousand words. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And when it's loaded on their trailer, yeah. then it kind of, you know, how are they going to take it back? That's my trailer. Oh, is it? <laughs> So, Jay, so there was madness to your method, James. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you, Mike. Yes. I knew you loved this car. Yes. And I did plan on showing up at your place with it on your trailer so you could not refuse taking it back because I really do need a little bit more money to get the Widowmaker back. Okay, well, don't you owe me something? I do. Yes. I do. Yes. Okay, so what's not, not mentioning any numbers... What do I got to give you to get my car back? Well, and I, square off the debt. If we do, if we do this, we're squaring the debt off first yep. of all. Yep. Right. So that. Because I remember what you paid. I know. How bad are you gonna bend me over, little buddy? Not that bad, Mike. <laughs> Not that bad. Why is my sphincter I, puckering I, as we speak? I Why? learned lots of my tricks from you. Yes. Anyway. So is that hood latched or is it going to fall off? No, I think that it needs to be uh, ratchet strapped down. I'm not... Uh, exactly We're going to put one anyway. It's tight, but... I drove it like that. I've been throwing a strap yeah. on it. And, okay, what's you know. the deal, James? Well, are you sure you want it back, Mike? Yes, I don't need it. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but it was one of the very few that I really regretted selling because it's just a cool piece. And I've only ever seen two and I had them both. But this one hasn't been butchered or, I mean, look at the trunk. I mean, if I ever had, had to get rid of the bus, I'd always camp in the trunk. You could. <laughs> now, I did hear stories that some of the businessmen would have slept in there. Oh, guaranteed. Do you think so? Guaranteed. I mean, you just have a little mat. I mean, it wasn't, what, do you, wasn't what do you got there? Like, there's almost know, eight feet. Really didn't they just put all their product? Weren't they going door to door selling stuff? And I they have their product in well, here. Who knows? Back, but I mean, you're just, any of the guys that drove this thing back in 1941, I think, are long gone. Well, so, I, I mean, but all I know is it's one of next to the like the Zephyr. This is one of the biggest trunks I've ever seen. I know. I mean, it's it just can be cool. In the three window. Like, yes. I love this. Yeah. Thing. I, really I mean, and the fact it was such a boat, they called it a luxury liner. <laughs> like, look, like, <laughs> do you think they'd ever do something like that now? No, like actually, never. A bumper, like they put so much extra work into these because yeah. they wanted them to last and they wanted yeah. them to be the best. Yeah. The cars are still like just going down. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna strip all this primer off and see how much of the original paint is under it. And you know what? That's I, exactly what I wanted to do. But right? I, I kept thinking, like, how would you do it? Without wrecking, because there is the original paint right there. You know how you know how uh, how, how you would do it? How? With a feather edger and about 400 grit. Really? Yeah. Just take the just, just, just go to just very yeah. gently, just yeah. go and see, and then boom. Right? Because, yeah. I mean, you start doing body work and paint on this, and there goes 30, 40 grand. Okay, name your number, James. I just oh. happened. What's your number? Billy. I don't want to uh, negotiate. I just want a, a fair price. We wipe the debt off. Yep. 5G, you can have it. 5G's done. What? <laughs> you said name my price. Okay, it's that's fair. It is, it is. Find yourself another one. I, well, I just did. Wow. <laughs> See, the way I'm looking at it is right now I need the cash. Later yep. on... I know where it's still going to be. That's right. And I probably won't have done nothing with it. And the price right. just keeps going up. <laughs> wow. Well, I'll just have to come back to this day and be like, remember, Mike? Remember, yeah, yeah. More? Look at that. Okay. It's Hang on here, James. Just take a picture. Here, hold this. I just want a picture of the proud owner. The proud hey, owner. Guys. Maybe this time I'll get paperwork for it. Two thumbs up. Mike gets his car back. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, James. Nice challenger. Wow. Where'd you get that? <laughs> did, did you ever see the front clip that I got for this? No. No?
This is crazy. This is what I sold James for next to nothing because he's such a good guy. But look and at this. So I got this off of you with no front clip. Remember that? that? This is right? fiberglass. Yeah. Well, oh. about a month after I got it, yeah. this came on Marketplace. So really? I talked to the guy and made a deal, went to Vancouver, picked it up, brought it back here, and I swear that this was for this car at one point. This car never got finished, and, and hear me out. Yeah, yeah. I think it's pretty far-fetched, but look at the primer. See the primer? Yeah. Look at the steel underneath here. See the steel here? It's the same, same primer. primer. This, see this here? Yeah. It fits right in the front. Fits right in. So I'm thinking that they got separated at some point. Like, I don't know. I'm separated at birth, like twins. I don't know. No, you, I don't know. So why is this down like this? There, oh, there's, there's no mounts. Oh, right. There's yeah. nothing. That, nothing the only is. thing as far as mounts is just that understructure. But it fits right in. And everything, like, you know, when yeah. we fit it in there, it seems to all line up pretty good. Yeah. I just got to put uh, some, like, yeah, yeah. You know, hood pins cool. in here. But Fuck, nice geez. doors even. Jesus, yeah. Jesus. Huh. Somebody spent a shit load of time on this. The workmanship on this is pretty nice. Is it? You know, they take welded all of the yeah. tubing. It's, really? It's pretty nice. I figured that I'll never get to this stage of a car without putting a thousand hours into it. Yeah. You know, and if I ever wanted a race car in my life, this is the one. Well, that's why when I talked, that come with it too? What, the, this? The yeah. wing? Yeah, and this is fiberglass. See, I don't even remember it. Okay, anyway, I'm going to bring my truck and load up my car. Hold on, Mike. No, I'm not buying nothing else. Got, nothing. I got a few more things. Nothing. Here, Ooh. Right. God, your yard's looking nice Ford. I like that. Whose is that? That's fine. I did a short bed conversion on that. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can see, yeah. But I, I have no room. I don't even. I'm gonna be parking that out on the trailer outside my gate because I can't fit anything. What about a little motorcycle? No. What do you mean? Look at it, moped. Did I not just show show you my brother's face? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I made good money on that car. Did you what? Uh, the Lincoln? Uh, Cadillac. The Cadillac. Cadillac. Yeah. That is pretty cool. It is super cool. What is that? What make is it? Simiti. Samadi. Samadi, probably, I guess. Probably Italian. This is cool. This, this thing here. This is cool. Baker Signs is out of Vernon. So it's a Thames. Yeah. I thought it was a Thames Ford. Or well, Thames is English Ford. Yeah. Yeah, so it's all Ford parts. Yeah. Super cool. We should have seen this. Don't thing. need it. Quit showing me shit I don't need. What do you mean? You need everything. Buddy. I need nothing. I need to yeah. hook up my trailer and get the f out of here. Boom yeah. You got shortened Pontiacs. That's cool. When was the last time you drove your truck, James? The last time I drove it. Oh, what did you do? I put the big dog rims on it and they rubbed. You burnt the paint. Yeah. You ought to be slapped. I haven't, you know what? I was so disgusted. I parked it here and it hasn't moved since that. Whatever, it's only a fender. You could take it off and then you no, wouldn't you have can't. to. No, you can't. They're welded on. Oh. But it, I'll get it fixed. But what I need to do is I need to... No, don't... Easy. That's what you call a faux pas. In the car world, you call that a faux pas. Or as yeah. we like to say, yeah. James f***ed up. Yeah, I did. <laughs> so I need to take the transverse leaf spring out, put some coilovers in it to raise the back up a bit. It's the extra weight from the turbos. I already jacked everything up as yeah. much as I could. I thought I had the clearance, but obviously I didn't. No clearance, Clarence. No. Wow. Well, no. it's gonna look good with the uh, with the Widowmaker part yeah. no, part right beside it. I'm excited. We're going down yeah. pretty quick here, picking it up, bringing it home. The guy said that he's done enough, of, you know, burnouts and stuff with it that it's time to. Geez, where'd you get that idea? Cutting a car in a third. <laughs> well, it's, it's a good idea. It okay, is. What else can you do? That thing had. Brand oh right, new... that was the burnt that one. That was the burnt one, and it had brand new fender door quarter. Actually, I mean it the fender. Didn't... What else can you do? The fender's great. Yeah. Jeez, I might I mean, need that's that. What I'm saying like match hey, that car like which that. Which door? Which door is it? That's which door did? Side. Which side did I take? I think I took the passenger side. Uh, you... I forget. Anyway, I think it was driver's side yeah. that you took. Yeah. I'm I'll have sure, to look. Anyway. Anyway, that, that probably, I'm not giving you any more money. We're uh, done. Thanks, James. I can't, I can't suck anything else out No, of here, I'm going to drive my truck around and back up and okay. load that stuff out here. Okay. Okay, thanks, buddy. You betcha. I'll back well, anyway, you. you've got more room than you normally do in here. Well, 
Jane, remember. You wouldn't believe how many vehicles that I've sold and flipped and traded and bought and you, to get the Widowmaker back. It's not a cheap car. Well, but nothing's I, cheap I anymore. What I had to do. Well, I, I know. Well, like I said, I, I've got to sell some to even get that one back in my yard. Good thing it's on a trailer. Hopefully nobody steals a trailer. Okay, I'm going to back around. Yeah. Hook me up, James. Thanks, Mud.